Hey nigga, why haven't you been playing Dragon Ball Legends? So guys, the reason that I don't have, you know, another Android device, which I could have picked up a few days ago, but I recently just made a choice, you know, it, I, it was between three choices, guys, so hear me out on this, hear me out. So, I could have picked up, you know, a better processor for my computer, which I don't really need that at the current moment, maybe, you know, a few months down the line, but I'll probably pick it up next month. I could have picked up, you know, another a uh, Android uh, device or a tablet, or I could have bought a new chair, and obviously, I bought the chair, guys. I mean, just, this is what I sit in every day. Like, look at this, guys. I can pick this shit up with one hand. Th this is the most rinky-dink fucking- Wait, anyway, guys, today- we are here to do another 100% showcase on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle, and it's going to be a fun one once again, guys. You know, me and myself, personally, I've never ran this unit before, but he is really slept on. I don't see him on any teams, and he's on, like, three different categories. So today, we're going to be doing a 100% showcase with the base form strength Go Tanks. Now, after looking at the card info, and like I said, I've never ran this unit before, guys. He is a pretty solid card. You know, I really don't like one thing in his passive, and we'll get into that in a little while. But I'm talking too much guys, make sure you go subscribe if you are new to the channel and without further ado, let's go. Alright guys, so this is the squad that we're going to be running for this showcase. Now, I chose the Fusion team over the Hyrule Saiyans team, specifically because the Gotenks, he links up just a tad bit better with the two Gogetas that we'll be running on this team, instead of the two LRs that we would have been running in their place on the Hybrid Saiyans team. For me, that would have been LR Trunks and LR Gohan. I don't have LR Mighty Mass, so I can't really speak on that. But before we do get started, a little bit about the card. Break him down a tad bit before we hop into this boss rush. Now, his leader skill is key plus 3, attack and defense plus 30% when HP is 30% or above. Now, I, I'm not really a fan of HP thresholds like that, and unless they're for, like, transformation mechanics or anything like that. But passives and leader skills, not really. Um, but this one isn't too bad because 30% or above is really easy to maintain. Uh, especially when you're running him on a fusion team or anything like that. That's stupidly easy to maintain. But since you're going to be running him on a hybrid Saiyan team, fusion team, you know, uh, Majin Buu Saga category team, his leader skill is really irrelevant. He does have a supreme damage modifier as well for his super attack. And he gives allies 20% up on attack for one turn via his super attack as well. His super attack kind of plays right into his passive skill, which is the only thing that I really don't like about his card. And I'll go ahead and hop into boss rush so we're not sitting on this screen talking too much. But uh, his passive skill, now he has has the potential to gain 100% on attack but he's gonna gain 77% no matter what at the start of turn through his passive skill and if he is the first character in rotation he will gain an extra 23% on attack but he has to be the first unit in that slot in that rotation so that's not really something that I like too much I feel like I just talked about this in like my last video or something like that not really a fan of a mechanic like that but it is what it is, guys. I, I I really don't like, you know, being forced to put a unit in that first slot for, you know, a passive or something like that to go off. And even though, you know, he kind of has to be in the first slot anyway and get a super attack for the other two units to get 20% up on their attack as well. So, like I said, that's kind of how it plays right into each other. His passive skill and a super attack. I'm not really a big fan of it, but we're going to see how he does in this showcase. Hopefully, he does pretty well because, like I said, this unit is kind of slept on to me. I mean, he does get a guaranteed 77% up on attack no matter what. And then he has the potential to get 100% up. Not 100% extra, but a full 100% boost on attack uh, via his passive skill. And he also boosts all allies as well for 20% after he super attacks. So, the unit isn't bad, guys. I just don't like, you know, that first character in the rotation. I, I don't like that bullshit. It, it makes no sense to me. But, anyways... Uh, is he coming up in the next rotation? We kind of just watched Super Saiyan 4 Goku right there. Uh, is he coming up? Okay, he's going to be in the off rotation. Okay, so. He'll be in the next one. He's probably going to be a floater for us. Uh, what I want to aim to do is keep him in rotation with Gotenks. Gotenks is going to be his best friend right here, even though he doesn't have Super Saiyan. So, he won't get that boost on attack. Uh, what I want to do is... Actually, I'm going to float this Gotenks because I want to I want to keep LR Gogeta and LR... Uh, not LR Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, but Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta with my LR Gogeta. So... I'll go ahead and float Go Tanks off. Um, that's another card I really need to 100% sometime soon because this Sealer Go Tanks is so amazing, guys. I know my boy Animated Muscle 100% of his a while ago. I think he did it on Global. But that Go Tanks is a freaking beast. He is for like a casual 1 mil at 100%. I think he only needs like a dupe to hit for like 800k consistently. Mine. I, don't, I think mine is fully duped out. I just haven't put the orbs into him. I have to go check that a little bit later on. But this Gotenks is a beast. Probably top three Gotenks in the game outside of, you know, the two Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. 
Actually, I would probably put Sealer Go Tanks at four or five because I forgot about the Adult Go Tanks as well. And that Adult Super Saiyan three Go Tanks is a fucking monster too. I kid you not, guys. I might have to do a showcase on him as well. And we do have the Go Tanks right here, so he is gonna be the first unit in this rotation. So we'll get the extra twenty percent up on attack for Gogeta and LR Gogeta as well. Um, let's see, let's see. Here we go. Well, let's go right here, and then we'll also get 100% up on attack via his passive skill as well. We get the extra 23 for him being the first unit in this rotation. So hopefully we can get a little bit of damage right here. Can we get a mil? Okay, we get 500k. Okay, I'll take the 500k, and then Gogeta is gonna get that 20% up. It's probably gonna hit for like 1.5, 1.6. Let's get it. Go tanks actually can go off rotation right here. If we're being completely honest, go tanks can go off rotation. And then I'll put LR Gogeta. Actually, no, I'll, I'll leave him next to Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Because Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta gets a lot of key from Go tanks. So I probably could have put LR Gogeta off of rotation, to be honest. But I'll keep him in rotation with Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Let's see. It doesn't look like we're going to be able to pull off any type of fusion uh, for this showcase. But, you know, the, the, the point of the showcase isn't really showing off the fusion aspect with LR Gogeta. Even though it's something, when you're running this unit and, you know, Ultra Instinct Goku and LR Vegito, that's just something you always want to do no matter what you're doing. Like, anytime you run those units, you want to pull off the transformation mechanic. If you, if you say you don't, you're lying. I don't care. You want to pull off the transformation every time you run these units. But it doesn't look like it's going to happen for this showcase. Because even if we do get down pretty low, I'm probably going to heal anyway. Look at that. Woohoo! And then Go Tanks is just gonna finish him out, guys. I know I used to say this all the time. Physical Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks is still one of my favorite units, if not my favorite units in the game. He's just so freaking good. He's so good, guys. Now, what I'm gonna do right here, um, what am I gonna do right here? I want to get that extra boost on attack for Go Tanks and Gogeta, but at the same time, I don't want to get hit too hard right here. I, if we do, it'll be all right. If we do, it will be perfectly fine. We're going to give those to Go Tanks, and then we'll give those to Gogeta. Just pick up a little bit of health right here, so we don't have to heal probably. Actually, we probably still have to heal next rotation. We'll see, though. Okay, 300k, I'll take it. We get an additional attack. If that would have been an additional super and it crit, that would have been hardcore. That, and a dodge, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. And another dodge. Let's get it. And then he just, <laughs> it looked like he just transformed right Alright, so what I'm gonna do is, uh, to be completely honest guys, the friend LR Gogeta is better than mine because mine is an SA20, but this one is. So what I'm gonna do right here, I'm gonna keep this LR Gogeta out front. That should be a super attack right there. Well, that's an 18 key. Okay, I'll take that. Uh, it doesn't look like uh, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is gonna get a super attack. That's perfectly fine because he's gonna be a decent tank nonetheless. And then this Gogeta is not going to get one either. So, hopefully the LR Gogeta out front is going to be enough to kind of... He shouldn't take out four bars. He'll probably take out two and a half, maybe three at the most. If he crits, if he does hit for two mil, that's an easy one shot. Okay, so, he's going to take out about two bars. And then we're just going to have to power through this a little bit right here. No more super attacks for us this rotation. Uh, the next one should be perfectly fine. Though, who do we have next rotation? Looks like it's going to be our two Go Tanks again. Uh, and then possibly... Actually, it looks like it's going to be Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks. Let's see, though. Let's see. Okay, yeah. We're going to have all three Go Tanks this rotation. Okay, so I'm going to put Strength Go Tanks out front once again. Going to give him these right here. That's an easy super attack. Uh, do I want to have him in rotation with Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks? I think I do. We're going to take Seal Tanks off rotation really quick. Uh, but this should be it right here. This should be it right here, guys. Actually, I might have needed to heal right there but as soon as we get a super saiyan 3 go tanks we'll be perfectly fine as long as he doesn't super attack us well even if he super attacks us we'll still be fine is he gonna casually hit for that one mil finally that's what i really want to see can we can we crit for that one mil right here can we get any time okay we crit for that 700k i'm gonna take it my boy kind of i gotta remember that i have items guys this isn't a no item run this is a showcase so it's okay to use items right here uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and heal up right here. I'm going to hold off on the Bombas for right now. I don't really want to boost him up that much, you know, until we get to the final stage. Or if he comes up in the next rotation, I might do that too. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come right here. Uh, actually, yeah, let's put Gogeta in the middle. That's a lot of key that I was about to miss out on right there. So, 
Gogeta right there. Three Gogetas. But I'm going to save all those orbs for Gotenks right there. Okay, so here we go. Even though Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is probably going to one-shot this man, if not, Ink Gogeta will. The Gogetas in this game are just too much, guys. They're, they're just way too much. And then he's going to tank that for 17 damage. That's crazy. Look, I cannot wait for my chair to come in, guys. I... I might do an unboxing video. I might, you know, do it like a put together video. If you guys want to see that, let me know down in the comment section below. Or I can just set it up and do a little like, let you guys see in the first video that I ever record with that chair. But um, I do have my intro coming, guys. I have somebody making my intro. Um, if you guys know anybody that makes banners or anything like that, hit, hit me up because I do have somebody making. Uh, I have a commission coming as well. So we're getting a new profile picture, guys. Uh, intro's getting worked on. That'll probably be done first. And then if you guys know anybody that does banners, let me know. Hit me up. Link them somewhere. Tweet them to me. Anything, guys. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to put Gotenks back out front once again. Um, Okay, so that's four key right there. We're going to pop this Bulma. Give him an extra 25% up on attack. Actually, we probably could have saved that to the last phase. Ah, fuck it. Fuck it. <laughs> Whatever. We'll do it again on the last phase of the Omega Shenron event. So when Omega Shenron does finally come out, we'll get a little type advantage situation going on because I forgot this is type disadvantage. So all of this damage is going to get nullified. Even though that 300k right there was quite a bit for him to be hitting a type disadvantage situation. We got hit for a stupid amount right there. Okay, we got a little dodge game going on. I'll take it. Uh, Super Saiyan 3 Physical Go Tank should actually make up for any damage lost on that last attack. Gonna say one, ooh, 1. 1.5, okay. With the additional super attack. This guy is too good. Uh, looks like Gotenks is probably gonna get a Dokkan mode. Gonna go right here, and then Strength Gotenks <laughs> is gonna get that Dokkan attack. We're gonna see what he can really do right here, guys. Hopefully, Omega Shenron doesn't go, doesn't go too, like, batshit crazy on us. Well, he's going batshit crazy on us now, so... I expect Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta to tank all of that, though. I'm not worried. Oh, that's <laughs> my fault. LR Gogeta. So, here we go, guys. And we're rocking 450k HP almost. So, I'm not really worried about getting, like, one shot or anything like that. I just... Ooh. 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 Fuck. Okay. I just tend not to pay attention to my health or anything like that. Like, I don't even think about using items for some reason. I just think I can, like, Hercules every event. But, we're gonna see what this guy can do with the Dokkan attack. 100% SA10. Let's. Oh! Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. A 1.7 mil crit. And then we got my boy, Physical Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks, about to clean up the rest for us. We should be done. Oh, shit. Okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. Let's see. Okay, next turn is definitely going to be the last turn, guys. But, guys, anyway. That is going to be it for today's showcase. I'm calling it right now. Gotenks is going to clean them up. If you guys enjoyed what you saw, if you enjoyed the video, let me know down below in the comment section. Leave a like. Let me also know what other showcases you want to see. I do have a, a challenge video coming up. Maybe not after this because it's probably going to be a little late when I post this. Maybe tomorrow. But I did see a challenge that I wanted to do. And don't worry, I will give all credit to the founder of the challenge. Don't worry, guys. But that is going to be all for today. We just wiped out Omega Shenron right here. And I hope to see you all in the next video, guys. Peace.